Libra, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for late October 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know, I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we could dip our stingers into energy and see what's happening for the lovely Libra Collective. Hope you're all doing fantastic, my friends. Let's get it going, my gods. Talk to me. What do we got for these beautiful Libras here in late October? As you can see, we're in the season spirit been asking everybody what's your costume going to be if you're rocking you know i like to celebrate but let's see what energies messages insights we got for you around this time what's happening and yeah we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card then we'll get into the full reading itself at the very end i'll pull you a bonus card from the shadow land tarot just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean into which is always interesting but let's get it going here let's rock and see what we got for the lovely libras what's happening here let's get this first card going what's the vibe what's the energy here for my good friends oh, oh there we go okay that card did like seven flips coming out of my hand okay so this is beautiful it's a confident card it could also represent somebody laying low Okay. I mean, it feels very Libra-like to me in a good way where it's like, eh, no, I don't want any issue. Just let me do my thing. It can be good, but yeah, there is something with aesthetics as well, like looks. Now, before we fully dive into that, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the October subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. And also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk about this card. So we see this lovely lady. She is amidst a flock of birds. She's chilling. She's hanging out. I always say that this is a very aesthetic card to me. I just think it's striking imagery. I think it's beautiful. So when I see it, especially with the look she has going on here, it does represent aesthetics to me. So for some Libras out there, I know you're ruled by Venus. You always like to uh, present yourself in a beautiful type of way. And this could be very good for that. Some of you might be changing something about your look, or you might be a little extra conscious of how you're presenting yourself when this card shows up. Not necessarily in a bad way. So whether it's improvements you're making on yourself or just the recognition of it but also this lady what is she doing she's blending in with this flock so when i see this card i think of somebody that's not trying to cause issue they're not trying to make waves they're just chilling they're sitting back so for some of you you might just be in your own mode doing your own thing for a portion of you if you have been having issues with individuals um, they might not want any issue with you it's meaning like okay i'm just gonna let something chill so we're gonna leave it at that for now let's get into tarot and i always say that first card it doesn't make or break the reading it's just a little footnote so let's get you three tarot cards in the upright then we'll get into that intuitive juiciness let's see what's up here for the lovely libras let's shuffle it up my guys what do we got and yeah while we shuffle this and get it ready to go let's talk about last week's reading now i will say this for the last two weeks i've been seeing a really beautiful energy moving towards the libra collective last week's reading was titled an unexpected victory so i hope you've had one now i always say wins and victories they come in all different shapes and sizes whether it's monetary whether it's career whether it's interpersonal and that energy could bleed over so you might have something really good coming your way because even the week before that the energy looked like it turned the corner in a positive mode so let's see what shows up this week as you know energy is very fluid never set in stone so let me take this how it hits for you because we could be seeing your vibe or someone that you're linked to let's get it going what do we got for the lovely libras here in late october thank you and pentacles yeah a lot of you might have a really big career focus uh, work fo focus money focus when this card shows up it's somebody wanting to put effort into something i like this card it's one of my favorites and i do like that we're starting it off here with that let's get a couple more okay and the devil don't get nervous about that we'll see what's up with that devil card for sure uh, let's get one more out really piece it together that could also represent that material type of energy that i've been speaking about already so what's happening Seven of Cups, options, paths, choices. Okay. Yeah, overthinking might be a bit of an issue when this type of energy shows up, but it doesn't feel major. Let's let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, then we'll get into that juicy intuitive stuff. But at first look, first glance, even though we have the devil there, I kind of like what we're seeing here initially, because I always look at the elements first and how they play off of each other. Up here in the front end, we have double earth, 
which like I said, career, money, material world stuff, we have a big water card as well, the realm of emotion, feeling. So I always say when you combine earth and water, that can represent blessings and abundance coming in a positive result. So I think it's really going to come down to the nuances of the reading when we get to the clarifiers. But let's go through piece by piece and really start to build this out, because another thing I'm seeing is energy in two different ways. Like this one is much more grounded and realistic and material. This one is a little more fanciful and imaginative and daydreamy. So it's like they're split. Um, everyone knows Libra is represented by the scale. So maybe it is about, about balancing thoughts and expectation. But let's go piece by piece and build this one out. Position number one, the eight of pentacles. So we see this individual, they're hard at work, right? Um, they're building a pentacle, they're chiseling it, they're being very detail-oriented. So, of course, this is one of the biggest cards in the whole deck. Speaking of career, how you earn money, what you do for a living. To represent money situations in general, like I said, material world stuff. So living situation, even family, material world. That's what we always think with this. Um, if we're seeing this in regards to connections, relationships, this is somebody wanting to put some effort into it where it's like, OK, well, I think I could work on this. I think I could fix this. I think I can mend this. Mend this. this to me is a card of repairing something as well. That's the positive of it. Now, when we get to the challenge, because you know why I say every card has a positive and a challenge, a challenge of the Eight of Pentacles is somebody that's doing a little too much, or this could represent somebody that's doing all the work when they should be getting a little bit of help. So watch out for situations like this. Don't burn yourself out when this card is here as well. Um, another thing with the Eight of Pentacles, it is like a workaholic type of vibe as well. So it's like always trying, always, always going, going, going. So we'll see how this plays out when we get to the clarifier, because it could be very good. But at the same time, there's a lot of energy going into something, and it could also be trying to repair something. Now, where we might hit a bit of a speed bump is getting to this devil in the center. Now, I'll explain to you why this can be a very good card, depending on how we view it. I know it has a bad reputation. Now, this card does represent Capricorn energy due to the goat symbolism. So if you're a Cappy, don't be upset with this. Um, the devil... Yeah, there's a laundry list of uh, rough situations and dealings when it comes to this card, and we'll get to that. But when it comes to the positive, since it is that cardinal earth energy, it could represent a lot of the similar things that we were seeing in this Eight of Pentacles. So money situations, monetary situations, earning, effort, all this material stuff we were already talking about. A thing about the devil energy, regardless of what situation it's representing, it's planted OK, so this is a long term energy. So whether it's something, a situation, an individual you've been dealing with for a very long time, it's a, a behavior that's kind of set. That's what we think of with this card. Now, when we get to the challenges of the devil, I'm just going to throw a bunch of things at you. It could represent individuals you might need to keep your eye on. It could represent addictions. It could represent jealousy. It could represent obsessions. Um, it could represent toxic connections as well. Um, and the devil to me. When, if we're talking thoughts or actions, this could be a bad habit. It could be like with someone who has like a, a bad habit or a behavior that they want to break when the devil's here. So we'll see what's up with that. OK, I don't want to go worst case scenario just in the start. Now, getting to the back end, we have the seven of cups, like I said in the beginning, totally different than what we see here up front, where this is very material. This is super etheric, the positives of the seven of cups. I say this is the menu board of life. To me, it's a card of manifesting, choosing the route you want to go. So this card shows up. You got a lot of options, a lot of paths, a lot of directions you can move in. This can be daydreamy, imaginative, a lot of fantasizing with this card. So you might be overthinking a little bit. That's where the challenge of this card comes in, where it's somebody either overthinking something or they can't break a certain thought pattern. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be bad. I do feel for a lot of you, this energy we're seeing could be very good and beneficial. Just watch with the overthinking in this time with the Seven of Cups. Because um, this one on the front is very grounded. This one is fanciful, if that makes sense. So... Listen, I want to dive deeper on all this, Libra, so let's do it. Let's jump in and clarify. <clears throat> all right, let's get a good shuffle here. What's happening? Yeah, especially with that Devil Seven of Cups mix, it's like lots of thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, something might not be as rough as you think it's going to be. Well, let's see what's going on here. And yes, I was. this is where I like to go intuitive, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that Eight of Pentacles. 
Oh, and yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Libra, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. Okay, Eight of Pentacles time. What's happening? What is going on? Thank you. Two of Cups. Good. This is good. This is very good positive energy that's rolling in here. Now, the Two of Cups could represent partnerships, um, someone that you are very, very closely tied to. I will say this for a lot of you Libras, in this time is a great time for connecting with people, reconnecting with people. The Two of Cups could be a soul bond or a soul tie for sure. And it's a very smooth energy. So again, I know I was seeing those wins and victories for the past couple of weeks. I feel for a lot of you, that can still be the case. Now, if you've had a recent fallout with someone or you have a difficult history with somebody, when I see the Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Cups, there is an option here to, to mend something to mend a mistake or an issue. Um, you could really work something out with somebody when I see the Eight of Pentacles, Two of Cups in the upright, because it's like, okay, I want to give energy to this. Okay, I for I will say this for a lot of you, I don't necessarily feel like this is something or someone new. Another thing I'm picking up here is assistance. So like, if you need assistance with anything, don't be afraid to ask. Don't be surprised if somebody approaches you saying, hey, Libra, can you give me a hand with this? I need a little help. So if you're feeling a little rough in the streets, don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. But again, I get this victorious energy. Eight of Pentacles, Two of Cups. It's like, okay, this is good. You have a lot more support than you think. Very good, especially for mending um, connections, okay? Like in particular, but there's this just really positive energy here. So I like how we're starting. We still got the devil to see it. And we still have that Seven of Cups. So, But with the grounded energy of this Eight of Pentacles, this feels good, okay? So this could be a good individual. Let's keep moving to the devil. Let's see what's happening there. So, and yeah, we'll get to that Seven of Cups too. So let's see why the devil's in the mix. Why is the devil here for the Libra? Thank you. Wow. There is a huge energy here around self-improvement, my friends. Um, I feel for a lot of Libras in this time, you probably have a lot less tolerance for BS than you normally do. And I'm not saying that, uh, saying like, oh yeah, Libras, they'll deal with a lot of BS. I don't mean anything like that. But when I see the devil and the eight of cups, it's like, okay, I know this is not good for me. I know this behavior is not the best for me. So I'm not going to deal with it anymore. Um, if there is somebody showing like really rough or bad behaviors in this time, I, what I'm loving about this in total is there's big energy of self-improvement and improvement in general because the eight of cups notice the double eights too so we got number signs and synchronicities the eight of cups is walking away from something i always say it's action it's making a move so when i see it with the devil here yeah there could be a little bit of a cautionary energy where spirits telling you like, hey nice and slow don't rush something it'll it'll go how it needs to go so for a portion of you maybe there's a situation you just need to go through the process i was seeing that for gemini as well but at the same time, I'm seeing a very low tolerance for unhealthy things, unhealthy behaviors. I feel for a lot of you, you can make big improvements across the board with what I'm seeing here with the devil and the eight of cups. I feel like you just need to be slow, steady and cautious because this can be a situation that pops up. So when I see like if a devil energy pops up, it's like, bye. It's like, no, no, I'm not dealing with that. Bye. It's like splitting very quickly. Okay, so let's move in on the Seven of Cups. Yes, this could be a situation or a problem, of course. But again, I don't feel somebody getting bogged down in it, getting tied into it, or getting overly invested in an issue. Um, let, let's keep moving. And yeah, I know I said I see this energy of help, but whether it's you or somebody else, it's like you can get help to a point. Okay, or you can help somebody only to a point. Okay, don't get too invested. So let's see what's up with the Seven of Cups. Then we'll do a quick recap before we get into the shadow. Um, so far, so good. But let's see why that Seven of Cups is here. Thank you. Okay. This is a much, much better vibe that I'm picking up here in the back end. I feel for a lot of you, if you pace yourself, um, there is still this risk of overthinking and there is a risk of somebody that's really going through it i will be very honest with you because remember we have the double eights we have the seven of cups which is very etheric and mind-based next to the devil now we have the chariot in reverse somebody trying to keep their head in check so there is a nice energy of somebody being very realistic seeing things clearly but at the same time i feel somebody like really overthinking stressed out anxious nervous but 
that's an underlying energy. The one thing I see here is improvement, not getting bogged down in it, not getting trapped up in it, which is really good. The chariot in the upright is moving. It's going. It's going quick. It's the fastest card in the whole entire deck, Cancer Energy, here, when this card's in the mix. When I see it in reverse, this could be several things, okay? Underneath the Seven of Cups, it could be somebody just taking their time with a decision, choice, or process, where it's like, all right, I have a lot more options than I would think. I'm just going to take my time with this, which is a very good thing when I see this in reverse. Um, either somebody trying to calm their mind, like I mentioned already, and for a small portion of you, there could be cycles returning, okay, where it's like similar. It doesn't feel identical. It just feels similar. So watch out for that with the things that we're seeing pop up. So let's go through and do a quick recap. Overall, there's a really good positive energy here, but there is that little underlying stress and anxiety. But let's go position number one. We have the Eight of Pentacles with the Two of Cups in the upright. Beautiful. Now is a great time for mending friendships, mending connections. I don't necessarily feel like this is a new individual coming in. Um, there's also an energy here of assistance or helping, whether you're giving or receiving it. This is really good. Um, moving to the center is where we do hit a little bit of a road bump. We do have the devil and the eight of cups. I feel like for a lot of Libras in this time, you have a very low tolerance for dealing with those types of energies that I described earlier. So whether it is the problems or situations, it's like, yeah, okay, that that's a thing by it's like giving me that kind of energy as well. But yeah, this could be a situation or a problem popping up. But I feel I don't feel you getting tied into knots about it. OK, so remember, if you are going to assist assist somebody only do it to a certain point, don't get bogged down into it. On to the back end, we do have the Seven of Cups with the Chariot in reverse. There is somebody that could be very much on edge or stressing, but I feel somebody getting control of it, which could be a good result here. Um, for a portion of you, I feel like somebody, there's a lot of self-improvement in connections, in oneself. Uh, there's a very clear mindset. There's a lot of realism or realistic thinking in this week's spread. So I like what I'm seeing. There is a chance for a cycle to, to return or um, resurface as well. And I've been seeing that in the air signs recently. So do with that information what you will, Libra. Please take a screenshot. Let's see what's in the shadows for you. Let's get a good shuffle here. Let's see what's in the shadows for Libra, please. And yes, I always like to pull one shadow card at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. Shadow cards don't always have to be a challenge. They could be a good thing. So let's get you one. Oh, and yes, if you made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel, and I have much love for all my channel members. They're the ones that picked my costumes this week. So let's get it going here. What do we have for the shadow for Libra? Thank you. Okay, death card. So a lot of you, and we kind of see this happening throughout the main part of the reading itself. Don't be nervous about the death card. It's Scorpio energy, and we are currently in Scorpio season. This is Phoenix rising energy. So I often see this when somebody is reshaping themselves, remaking themselves, or a chapter of life is changing. So for a lot of Weavers out there, there might be certain chapters of life where uh, this is about to close, but a new one's about to open up. This is a very positive thing. And with what I was seeing in the reading itself, and even if you're cross-watching for a Libra, there's a good adaptability and a positive flow of the energy here, which seems good. There's like a nice repairable or improvement-based type of vibe when I see this. Now, again, for a portion of you, maybe there is an ending of some sort that you're still processing, that you're still dealing with. Of course, this card can mean that. But to me, it's metamorphosis, it's change, and I feel a nice adaptability in the overall energy for Libra. So I feel like this is a good card. And for some of you, since this is Scorpio energy, we're in Scorpio season now once again. So remember, maybe there's something about this time frame that's very important or special for your journey. So Libra, that's what I got for you this week, my beautiful friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the October subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can check out my digital calendar for the month of October at my website, mastermetaphysics.com. But for the October subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of one of my favorite decks, the Tarot of the Owls. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. Second, let me know down in the comments, hypothetically, if you had to get a tattoo of a tarot card, which one would you choose and why? You'll be entered to win, and at the end of the month, the winners will be announced in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love, and I'll see you again soon.